This is SEN Speedway Nation. For clay per view, watch Speedway Live or on demand. And SRV Road Freight Services, excellence in motion. Welcome back to Speedway Nation. Thanks to Clay Review. You can watch Speedway live or on demand. Plenty of late model racing to watch live or on demand over the Christmas period as well. Boxing Day at Perth will be really big. Late model Pro Dirt Series over in Western Australia. It's the hub of late model racing in Australia. Wild West Showdown is on Clay Review for three big nights. January 1 at Bunbury, January 2 at Perth, and then down to Albany for January 6. That's exciting. But we spoke to one of the biggest names in late model racing at the moment, Devin Moran from Dresden, Ohio. He's going to come over and race the USA Summer Speed Week on the East Coast. So that'll be wonderful to uh, to see. Let's catch up with Devin Moran. Oh, really, really cool to be joined with uh, Devin Moran, who's had a huge season in America over there, running second in the Lucas Alder uh, Model Series. Devin, welcome um, to Speedway Nation show. And, uh, well, we're excited about you coming to Australia. Hey, I... Uh... I appreciate it uh, for being on the show, and uh, I think I'm way more excited to come than you guys are for me to ha- uh, have me there. So uh, it's been five or six years since I've been been over over to Australia, and uh, I've never been up up towards the Gold Coast of Brisbane, Toowoomba, and all that. So I cannot wait to to make that venture up through there. Yeah, obviously you're uh, you're fresh <laughs> off uh, getting married, so congratulations to you and the you and the wife, mate. And, this is uh, yeah, thank you. setting up to be uh, a bit of a honeymoon trip for you guys. Did, did the, <laughs> the newly new wife uh, know about all the racing teed up with this trip, though? Oh, yeah. Don't don't let me uh, fool you. She's definitely been giving me some crap about it. But, uh, I mean, that's why she married me. She knew what she was getting into. We met at the races, her dad races, and uh, I love it. So if I'm going to go halfway around the world, I'm going to find something to race. I can tell you that. <laughs> that's what we like. And why not come to the Gold Coast for a honeymoon, right? Um, I'm, I'm all in on that. <laughs> so your season was pretty remarkable. Let's let's be fair. Um, consistent right across um, the entire country over there. Yourself, you must be happy. How many wins did you get? You obviously finished runner up. Um, yeah, just just give us a bit of a background on your on your season. Yeah, so it. Um, I was with the brand new team this year, and it started out awesome. We won the first two nights out. Life was good, and then. Bam, we hit a, a rough patch right after the first two nights, you know, just racing with these guys week in and week out. It is it is hard just because of the competition. The, the I mean, there's competition everywhere, but the amount of different people that are at one race, you know, um, and it's hard to win. So we hit them rough patches, but there around <clears throat> June or July area, we, we really started getting our stride. And I think the last... 30 Lucas races we only I don't think we finished outside the top 10 the last 25 or 30 Lucas races like we just hit our consistency and um yeah it led into us getting into the final four chase that they had with the Lucas this year and then uh if it wasn't for the last lap we would have been the champion but that's the way it goes sometimes and uh I wanted to win some more races we only won five total um but I think out of our 80 races I think I had 65 or 70 top 10 so um just a uh great season as in overall and like competitiveness and everything but but we want to win more races and we want to win that championship yeah no doubt about it was it was a three hundred seventy five thousand dollars to win the lucas in the chase is that right um so it ended up the actual winner got 200 grand that night they got a check for two hundred thousand dollars but with all the other bonuses and and different things like that there was i think the actual entire points fund was over a million dollars so there was there was a lot lot on the line <laughs> it's it's really phenomenal money that you guys are, are like the last two or three years of late model racing over in the states has really progressed that that point fund more and, and the prize money you guys are racing for week in week out um so for our audience here on speedway nation across the country that are listening in that they, they might not be quite across all the racing over in the states and just how much money you guys are playing for each week now you're going to roll over here first off we've got three nights in the late model the 399 motorsport late model a really big uh, effort from those guys to to tee that up for you to come across and race. That'll be exciting to, I guess, dip your feet in here, race at Toowoomba on Boxing Night and the USA Summer Speed Week, and then roll up to Carina Speedway at Bundaberg, and then a brand new facility up at uh, McCosker Gladstone Speedway. Three nights, late models. Now, we're happy to admit late models haven't been their strongest here in Queensland in recent times, but uh, for you guys coming up from, from up and down the East Coast, you're coming over, Jeff Roth coming over as well. Yeah, a fun little three day stretch. Should be a piece of cake for you guys over in the States, right? Night in, night out. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just a whole week long race and nothing new, you know. We we go 
<clears throat> in speed weeks, I think we raced 24 times in about 26 nights. So um, one week of it we can handle. But uh, really coming over to Australia, we just have so much fun. I've met so many great people over there and uh, have a lot of great relationships and hang out and have fun. So when we get a race over there, we get to have fun. and Hopefully we're kicking ass and we're doing it. <laughs> what have, what have you seen of the track? So you've obviously seen a little bit of Toowoomba. Um, it it'll be pretty cool. I promote that place, so I like it. <laughs> um, but um, it 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 should suit you guys pretty well. Um, you've been pretty high banked and and nice and wide. So yeah, I mean, I've I've watched more video of Toowoomba than I have of the other two, just because I feel like it probably does get a little more recognition and and it looks like a fantastic racetrack. Everyone I've talked to over there, Ross, the Cunningham's. Uh, uh a, a ton of different people and, and they all love it i haven't heard a single bad thing about it yet so uh i'm excited to come over there and uh, i i can't wait to put on a show for all the fans and uh yeah the other two tracks I've, I've seen a little bit but i don't really know a whole lot so uh we'll show up and see what it looks like and go from there i suppose showing up to somewhere that you haven't raced before is just part and parcel of racing across the states for you guys as you jump on those national tours and they pick up new tracks uh as, as each season rolls along but and then after we do the late model summer speed week, you're going to roll back down to high tech laws Tourma Speedway. And we've got a super sedan event on the Ian Blotcher Classic for 10,000 to win over two nights. Massive fields for those, those events uh, already looking like they're going to be around. So jumping in the other side of the car, that's probably something that we haven't talked about a little bit. Uh, is that going to just, just test you when you roll out for hot laps the first time? Yeah, I think we're going to have to get the rental car or something and go make some laps somewhere so I can get used to it. Um, <laughs> so it, it'll be different. You know, I, um, Bobby Pierce and Jimmy owns a couple guys, a couple of my friends, uh, they've been down to, uh, New Zealand and race some stuff. And, and they said, once you get used to it, it's really not that big of a deal. So I did, I did make a couple 410 sprint car races this year, and that's at least in the middle of the car. So I migrated over a little bit. So, uh, just a little bit further. Hopefully I, it won't bother me too much. Yeah. Well, the promoter there, right at Twomber, he, you're going to, you're going to time troll in your hot lap group. So <laughs> you, you'll have oh, to have, man. Yeah, have to have your eye in pretty good. And I think there's a pretty savage invert on the first heat too. So anyway, you'll be it right. It is mate. what it is, I guess. We'll just rock and roll with it. <laughs> yeah. The big right rear, I suppose. So it's effectively a late model, um, a right hand drive late model. The, the weight distribution is probably not as nice as a late model go around. And then you've got that big sprint car right rear. So, um, but yeah, anyway, it should be good. We, we can't wait to see you do that. Now, most importantly, I've got heaps of my mates that are like, oh, it's Devin bringing merch out. We want to buy a T-shirt. We want to get him to sign some autographs and stuff. So you're bringing some merch out for everyone? Uh, so I am bringing some stuff out. Um, I was going to try to ship it ship it over um, with the last container. and We got all messed up with logistics and stuff, so that doesn't happen. So uh, I've got a couple different ideas on what I'm going to do. So we'll, we'll try to bring some stuff out and hang out and, yeah, we'll sling some. My, my wife will be there, so. Uh, she's the one that handles all that, so I'll make her figure that out, and uh, Miss Eldora's I'll just coming, be hanging huh? out. And... Well, I must say, pe people have asked us about that already too. Is Miss Eldora coming? I was going, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. honeymoon. Well, Miss Eldora is my sister. That's my oh, right, sister. Yeah. She is oh, not coming. No, right, okay. She is not coming, but she's not she coming. Is, but your wife's a... coming, right? Yeah, but my wife and I love my sister to death, but my wife looks pretty dang good, so I ain't going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but and... but no, my sister, she was at the banquet with us, and and my wife as well, Lakia. They were. They were in Indianapolis hanging out with us, and uh, yeah, we all had a blast. Now, we, we spoke about your sister, obviously, Miss Eldora. It's a big family deal, you guys. You guys are involved in promoting tracks. Your brother's a track promoter. Your family owns owns facilities. You The whole the whole race team at the shop, it's a massive family deal racing for you guys, isn't it? Oh, it's it's what we live for, you know. Um, I'm I'm one of five, and my parents, uh, they my dad raced forever. My grandpa owned the track for a long time, well, still does, and my brother promotes it. My other brother worked for me forever. Um, my sister's Miss Eldor. It's just we were born and raised at dirt tracks, and that's what we live for, and that's what we love. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to find someone that, that loves it as much as us, and, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So you sent Lewis this week? Yep. We will be leaving Tuesday night to head out to the Dome, get everything ready Wednesday. Um, then the, the first half of the field race is Thursday. I race my half on Friday, and then uh, hopefully we're going to bring a $30,000 check out of there Saturday night. Yeah, well, that'll be probably, to be honest, running St. Louis to get your eye in on elbows up kind of stuff will probably um, be quite, quite a nice run when you get to straight, right? So 
No, it's been absolutely fantastic to uh, catch up with you. We can't wait to see you um, here in Australia, Devin. We are really, really excited about it. I know plenty of people are. So um, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, mate. Good luck this week. Um, enjoy enjoy uh, your Christmas in Australia on your honeymoon. How good will that be? So, And we'll, we'll see I, you in the boxing wait. night. Yeah. So I've been there a couple of times, obviously, but Lakia never has. So uh, I'm excited to take her over. We're already, we got the Harbor Bridge deal planned and, uh, we're staying in Manly for a couple nights. And yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to get over there and uh, hang out with all my friends. Very cool. All right, Devin Moran, we'll see you boxing night. Cheers, mate. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It was awesome to chat to Devin Moran. We can't wait to see what happens over, over Christmas when he's out here. Speedway Nation, thanks to Clay Perview. We'll be back next week.